We're gonna do a little uh, exploration of the cocktails here. Yeah, yeah, we have a, a fledgling new bartender who's yeah. making drinks. Here's the thing, she's getting the fundamentals down pretty well. She's been training yeah. with the bar staff, so for this lineup, I got in there. I haven't seen what she made, but I made sure that this was kind of some advanced level. Like the choices I'm throwing were a little some more hard. Okay. I'm throwing Because we all know that balls. TikTok is where the finest bartending talent lives. There are some impressive cocktails in there. Sometimes there's absolute garbage. But, <laughs> <laughs> where's the first cocktail? Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What is right. that? Blue and orange juice. Oh. Rose syrup. No, what's happening? That looks crazy. This is like you've gone to a rave, you want a drink that glows in the dark. Right. It does look like brains, though. It does look, look like, like brain matter, yeah. It's well named. It looks like whaley brains. Bring on the Tic Tac Tac Tic. Welcome back, everybody. First drink is the alien brain shot. One ounce of peach liqueur here directly. Oh, that's not enough. I'll put more in. We'll just go big or go home, you know? I feel like there should be more still. Yeah, we'll do some. We'll do another, we'll do another ounce, you know? Oh, sh I mean, excuse me. That looks pretty good. Well, no, we'll put a little more in there for beauty. Yeah, there we go. Some Baileys on top. Oh, gross. Oh, disgusting. You ever drink Baileys from a shoe? Teeny bit of blue caracal. Blue curacao. Oh, shoot. I didn't do what I did in that video. We're gonna do some red grenadine. What? The f And then you're done. <sighs> um, <laughs> Do you see? Are you seeing this? Yeah, I'm really and not then, sure how they made it do that. I followed it, everything. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> you're gonna have a problem. Okay, no one say anything for a second. <laughs> I gotta focus. <laughs> Some water. Yeah. Thanks. You ever see like toilet paper shredded up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the texture. <laughs> it's like the texture of little pieces of paper. One of the. <laughs> <laughs> I will say there's a lot going on. In this yeah, drink. but not good. None of it good. None of it good. <laughs> not even the Bailey's, which I like. It's so intensely sugary sweet. Next cake cake. Oh God. <laughs> Strawberries, yeah. honey. All right, I like where this is going. Lime, interesting oh, choice. A little bit of a uh, tangy zesty. A little whiskey. This looks more like a margarita. Yeah. Like a strawberry margarita or something. It's a bunch of crushed ice. Yeah. Fair enough. What is that? Mm. That's it. That's simple. And then a little ginger soda. Yeah. I feel very confident she'll be able to knock this one out without issue. Okay. Cocktails. This next drink is strawberry whiskey drink. Chopped straws. Let's get a little. Let's get a little more. Oh, ow. You can't see me cut my finger a little. Did you just cut it? It's not broken. I didn't break the skin. Are you bleeding? I didn't break the skin. Okay. <laughs> Roughly a fourth teaspoon of honey, and you pour that on the spoon like so. You get it on there. Half a lime. God, yeah. Ow, that stings. <laughs> okay, two ounces of whiskey. So we'll do one. Ooh. Wow, how did she get so good? And then. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shake it a little bit. Something along those lines. And then we strain it over the ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, she garnished with a strawberry. We'll put it we'll put it. And then ginger beer. Top with it. Oh my God, look at that. That looks professional, because I am one. Mmm, that is pretty decent. You don't have enough for two drinks? Is that what's happening here? I do. 
Oh, God. Here uh, you go. I feel like I got the better one on that one, yeah. It's very boozy strawberry. I'm just gonna take a sip first. It smells pretty good. The ginger is very strong. Oh, I was expecting more of a punch in the mouth of ginger. Yeah, the ginger is a little more mild. Not yeah. bad. Yeah, it's it's fairly well balanced. Huh. Mm. The strawberry is amazing. All right, that was surprisingly tasty. Yeah, it's very, very refreshing. Yeah, yeah, very simple. Uh, I would not taste whiskey. Way more just like ginger strawberry. If I had to say there's anything whiskey related, I would say there's a tiniest, thinnest layer of an oaky. This feels more like a tequila cocktail to me. I don't if know. If you're looking for your cocktail mm -hmm. to basically feature that really nice whiskey flavor and then add a lot of complimentary things, no. it varies the flavor. Yeah, but if you're looking for it's hot out here and I want a nice, delicious yeah. by the pool drink yeah, or yeah. something, then yeah, absolutely. And it's pretty damn simple. This wow, look at that. That is a very tall ice. That is a shaft of ice. ice. So gin, syrup, cream. Cream, why is it, what's up with everybody in the cream? Blue liqueur. Blue liqueur. Egg white. Sorry, Rex. Oh, the spring from the uh, Oh yeah, just really, yeah. Yeah, that's a trick. Mm -hmm. It um, just gives you a lot more froth. Yep, you take a st uh, spring off the strainer and you can go crazy with it. Which he is, he's going crazy. Woo, risky. Yeah. Well, it's very blue you because, spring. you know, blue Caraca. Pour out ice. Wait, that is very And then you good. put the ice back in? Oh, look, and you got to separate. The oh, look at the oh, fog. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like having one, you remember? Um, when you, you were a kid and you had little things you dropped in water and they expanded into like a dinosaur or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's just bring on that exact thing. This next drink is called a blue fairy fizz. So, first thing we're gonna do is Improvise. In the TikTok, he used a uh, long rectangular cube, and that's a little bit uh, too fancy. We're going to make one ourselves with saran wrap. We'll get some ice, you know, your normal ice, and you'll put it on the saran wrap just in the same shape that he used for the long one. We'll wrap it like that, and then, oh, this sound, this was gonna work better in theory, wasn't it? Like a burrito, you roll it, and now you have the same cube, basically, that he used. Shaker tin, an ounce and a half of the gin. Some of the simple syrup. 30 milliliters of cream. Nice. Did you hear that? <coughs> nice. Nice. Blue Curacao. Blue Curacao. One ounce of this. Can you see it? Uh, then we need a egg. What? Um, oh, it's breaking. Oh, God. Okay. Get it a little. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Oh, the, the yellow is coming out, so that's too much, but that's good. We got it all. And then it says, oh, put one large cube. One cube? You put a spring in. Throw ice. Strain and two. Oh wait, shoot, he said take the spring out, so. Oh god, that was. Soda water. Fuck! Oh, I'm all over my notes. Okay, add <laughs> soda water, like this. So we'll do that, about to the top-ish. And then we add lemon soda, pour that. And, and the foam, right, who, shoot, shoot. Well, something happened. <laughs> and then you put a straw in, and you're done. Actually it tastes really good though. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so this oh. one looked better when I first made it, Ew. and it's uh, settled. Can you? It's 
Yeah. Can you? <laughs> yeah. That, two straws. Okay. Is this like a Lady in the Tramp situation? Between the two of us, who's the lady? Probably me. Wait, what does that taste like? Melted sherbet? <gasps> it's a push-up pop. Yeah. It's not orange though. What else did they have? I don't know, but it's got that creamy, ice creamy, it's like a coconut push-up pop. I get not a trace of gin. Me either. One of the things that what comes up and we do mm. these tick tack tack tack. Some people, it's like, well you should just do it right. Do the drink right? Yeah, you should just do it right. No. <laughs> have you ever really tried to do anything from a blog or a YouTube <laughs> video? 90% of the time it turns out terrible. Even if you know what you're doing. I cook all the time these days. Yeah. Fully the first two times right. I try to follow an online recipe, it's right. a train wreck. Right. So for the record, <laughs> the, the context, the premise is, Brianna is training to be a bartender, but we haven't yeah. heard doing these instead of our actual professional bartenders because we think it's gonna be the closest parallel to what People Just at home who aren't professional bartenders yes. would do. Mine is three or four points because it's <laughs> Brianna. <laughs> if you want to see the correct way to do it, the TikTok videos are going to be linked in the description below. What's the next one? Ooh, uh, Juanitos. Okay. That is messy. Did they pour out a third? Oh, they used it for the cocktail. Okay. They poured a bunch out and then filled it with shit. Using the bottle. Oh God, what is that? Was that so hot sauce? What the hell is in this? This episode brought to you by Skull Bliss. Now in Texas, if you have a bar or tasting room, it's damn near mandatory that you have a Longhorn somewhere. Fortunately, Skull Bliss reached out to us and they make some freaking amazing, check it out. What? Skull Bliss is all about carved animal skulls, decor elements that you will not find anywhere else. They work with skilled artisans and designers to bring skull art that becomes a centerpiece for any room. Perfect for man caves or home bars. Now here's a big one ethical sourcing. At Skull Bliss, no animals are harmed just for their skull. The authentic skulls are a byproduct of local Balinese agricultural industries. So basically, they take what would be waste products and turn them into beautiful detailed artworks. You're looking at a process that pays respect to the life of that animal and helps out the local industries in Bali. Bunch of different styles, a bunch of different kinds, but this is the one that we thought was gonna be absolutely perfect for what we're doing in here with the golden nectar. <laughs> Dude, that looks great. Oh, and there's a dimmer? There's a dimmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. It's Balinese. The sacred spirit of the Longhorn blessing. Blessing our merch corner. <laughs> All right, Tribe, in the comments below, what's the name? Not Dan, there's too many Dan's around here. There's a lot of Dan's. Too many damn Dan's. See, another one. If you want to check out what they have, you want to go to the link in the description below. Use discount code Whiskey Tribe. You're going to get fifty dollars off site wide, and there's already discounted products across the entire site right now. But it's from today to July first, so hop on it. Okay, this drink is Aztec Gear Dorito Texas drink. What? As you pop your tabs, you get some shimoy. And tahin. What is that? A combination of chamoy and tahin. And then you rim. Um, you get your. Right. This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna try it with this thing. And then we'll pour it in here. And then we'll, like, get it. Oh, shoot. It's gonna spill out. <laughs> I really hope Richard never sees this. Okay, that looks like it. <laughs> oh boy. I can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> so that looks good. <laughs> Start shoving in strawberries. I don't want anyone to stop you from shoving. And then we shove in some peaches. Yum. More chimoy. Oh yeah, yummy. That's looking something. Sprinkle on some tajin. Looks right, and then you top it off with uh, with the whiskey. Stay. Okay, you have to make sure that it doesn't do that. So, oh my god, so much! No, please stop. Maybe I'll shove a peach in there. No, stop it. Then we put more. In here. Okay, it stopped there. 
So we'll leave that one there. What is happening with that one? <laughs> I'm gonna be fired up to this. <laughs> oh, all the tahini and the chamoy is already off. God, oh no, now it is. <laughs> okay, don't look at me. Oh my God. Can I ask a uh, technical question? How did you get it so right? Because no, I don't no. see a lot right. No, no, no. How did you, where did you find the ingredients? I just watched the TikTok. But and look, I, wait, how did you know, how what, do you know what? what that is? Well, actually. Like the powder, what the hell is that? I knew what that is because we have a drink with that at the oh. tasting room. Okay. I mean, I kind of just guessed, but that's what yeah. it looks But then like. what's the alcohol? Well, it's like brownish, so yeah. I was like, that's got whiskey, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's totally not whiskey. <laughs> so we did a recipe with no recipe. Man. How far down the shaft are you gonna go to make sure you get all the flavor? <laughs> I don't know, but this is carbonated and I don't do carbonation well, so I can't gulp it. Well, are you gonna pull that out and take a bite and then drink, or are you gonna try to go for it? Oh, it smells terrible. What? Oh, what is that? <laughs> Oh God, that is disgusting. That's terrible, it's just outright terrible. I've given it all the chances it's gonna get. Whenever you add a spirit to a carbonated drink. <laughs> uh, so you say you have a problem with carbonation. You don't have a problem with this because when you add a spirit to a carbonated drink, it kills the bubbles. <coughs> it did kill the bubbles. Bubbles are gone. <laughs> bubbles are not an issue. <laughs> it went in my nose. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's equally as bad as the thing I almost threw up for, only it's not creamy. I like the idea of building something in a glass bottle. Yeah. I don't like what this turned <clears throat> into. This did not turn into a good combination of flavors. The layers don't work. Verbangus, you have uh. one more chance to amaze me. <laughs> There's a fifth cocktail? Oh, nice. Two different kinds of, whoa. Ice sphere. Okay. Put that in there, put that. Then you light the damn thing on fire. Then you put that on top. The glowing blue. And elbow. then the shit comes whoa. down the bottom. What the hell? So you started freezing it, but yeah. you stopped. Yeah. After the shell was yes. created. Yes. You didn't freeze it all the way. Yeah. This drink is the blue planet drink. So what you need, ice balls that aren't fully iced, frozen. <laughs> because you want there to be water inside. Oh, these are looking good though. Okay, oh, it's got a little, <laughs> got a little nothing. Poke a hole in it, get all the water out. Okay. Okay, it didn't break through, so we're gonna give it again. We're gonna go at it again. Get in there! Oh, oh yeah, we got it. Oh, it worked! Now we have a clear ice ball. I fill this with the blue, blue curacao. Blue curacao, 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 curacao. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, 45 milliliters of absinthe. Trippy mane. Uh. Oh shoot, shoot, no, no. All right, we gotta do this fast. We gotta do this so fast. So I'm gonna put the absinthe in first. So we're gonna pour some of that in. It says red absinthe, we don't have it. We got green absinthe, suck it up. Then we're gonna do the ball again. Go, 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 okay. We're just gonna like really, ah, damn it. Oh, and I'm supposed to light the glass on fire. How did he do this? I need more fire. Oh, we're a smoke. Yeah! Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! It was close. Oh no! All right. Well, let's let's try it. That's bad. That's ugh. Just a quick mention: in previous videos have worn this shirt, and Brianna's worn. Brianna, come here. She's worn her shirt. And people are asking where we got it. They're labels from things that we've done. Mm -hmm. This was Assassin's Mead. Mm -hmm. And that is the Apology Gin. For the next month, these are gonna be available, link in the description below, on the Whiskey Trap Store. So.
There's an ice thing on top. This one was hey, that's not, tricky. Are we just defaulting to Glen Cairns because we don't have? Um, yeah. It smells like yeah. licorice. Well. Smell it. It does very strongly of licorice. All right, I'm gonna drop it, ready? <laughs> now, we feast on the innards. Because we're men, we have hunted. 10 seconds. How come they're different colors? Not, how, how, did are, you, how did you do that? <laughs> that was really impressive. How did you isolate two different tones of I blue? I am really skilled. <laughs> they smell the same. We'll make sure that it's the same thing that we're tasting. Uh, okay. It smells like licorice Listerine. Very licorice. <clears throat> Super li black I, licorice. Man. I hate black licorice. Well, it tastes like really sweetened absinthe. Profoundly sweetened. Yeah. Absinthe. Like take absinthe and pour a spoonful of sugar into yeah. it. Visually amazing. This is a flavor that's not for me. No, me either. That deep black licorice flavor. That's dominant. Uh, once more, back into this. I still taste the last drink. That, whatever that, bleh. It gets bitter. I can't decide if the bitterness is from this drink or from like the lingering previous no, impacts. It's this. Go back. You'll see. 